everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm and I'm very excited. My native seedlings from the conservation department finally came in. So why grow native? Why is it so important? One, some of these are critically endangered, such as the ones we're going to plant. We're going to plant the bald cypress. Can you imagine a world without these dinosaur looking trees? Or else, what about the habitat? So many animals and insects rely on these particular native plants. But also, it's a good money saver. I buy trees, basically. I plant hundreds of trees every year, usually endangered or edible, like the hazelnuts. But, um, they're usually free through the conservation or else at a really great price because they're trying to bring these back. But also, it helps us. It helps our air. It helps the insects that we need. We need pollinators. So we also have the button bush that brings in tons of butterflies and pollinators like the bees. It's a win-win situation. Now that I have these what am I going to do with them besides ask my daughter to start digging holes? <laughs> I order mine early because they're dormant. This is the great time to plant them in the fall or in the spring. When they're dormant, you want them in the ground or whatever container you're going to do, and we're going to do both, before it wakes up. That way there's no shock and you get a jump start on it that's growing. But right now we have to put it in a very cool place. So in the basement where it's 40, I'm going to keep mine. We have to keep them um, semi-moist. I try not to open this. Okay, a few years ago I planted a thousand trees. And thanks to my daughter and my friends Howard and Sarah, we dug holes forever. But I made the mistake of taking them out and putting them in a bucket of water because thousands of plants is a big deal. They rot. Don't do that. Keep them in this package. Peek in. If it's too dry, add a little. And try to get them in the ground within two weeks. But go buy some native plants. Help the earth. Help yourself. This is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Go native. <laughs>